Greetings, guys and gals. I am Hound Snakes on Await, and welcome back to Let's Play The Colonel's Bequest. In the previous episode, we found a necklace inside of um, Beauregard's doghouse. My apologies, yeah. Um, and we have to figure out who it belongs to. There's also a cellar over here, but I don't think we can actually go inside it at this point. You're not close enough. I think if we try and open it, it's you try opening the cellar door, but alas, it's locked, yeah. I actually want to make a separate save here, and I'll explain why later. Um, earlier, we saw Jeeves exit to the, um, to the right. You can actually follow Jeeves, and he'll go all around. You know how they all are. It'll be fine, Miss Lillian, you'll see. Um, as what I was trying to say before I was interrupted, uh, you can actually follow Jeeves all around the grounds, and you'll see him do some interesting things, but I think if we do that right now, we may miss an opportunity to do something, um, in the mansion right now. Not sure, you probably can do both, but I want to show off the exterior of the mansion in Act 3 anyway. So, I'm gonna make a separate save, and I might do, like, a little bonus video later showing what Jeeves does, but... Uh, we found a necklace. Can we ask anyone about this necklace? Let's see here. Um, ask about necklace. What difference does it make? I meant to ask Sally actually, but whatever. How'd I know about that? Well, actually, funnily enough, the necklace actually is Sally's. I'm not sure if they ever explained that, but, uh, I guess you could probably put it together because Sally is... Well, I guess you could say it's Fifi's too, but Celie and Fifi are the only ones that really live here that would wear a necklace. So, my necklace! I was wondering where it got to. Well, Miss Elora, thank you. Making sure you give that necklace to Celie is very important. Because if you forget to do that, then Celie will not befriend you, and you won't be able to have her, um... How's your son doing, Celie? I'm so proud of him, Miss Lillian. He's graduating from college, you know? Oh, interesting. That's, uh... Good for him. Um, but if you don't befriend Silly, she won't be able to help you later on, which could be important. So um, you want to make sure you give that necklace to her. As of right now, though, we don't really have much more business with these two, as far as I'm aware. Um, can we talk to uh, Silly more now that we've befriended her? I don't know nothing about him. Yeah, I don't think you really can. Uh, we could ask a couple questions. Silly, could you make me up a new Gree Gree for... Hush on that child, not now. What is a gree gree? I've never heard of that before. Um, I'll, I'll ask about it. Oh, okay, apparently not. Um, what do you think of, uh, Rudy's, um... I got nothing more to say about it. I'm actually going to talk to Lillian. Rudy gambles a lot, and I think he owes a lot of money to some shady people. Which actually is... Oh no, oh no, that was Clarence, sorry. That did the racehorse scam, not Rudy. Mr. Sparrow may be able to fool my uncle, but he doesn't fool me. We haven't really questioned Lillian about that many people. Oh, I don't know. She's probably around here someplace. Probably drunk as usual. Yeah, that doesn't really surprise me. Um, what about your father, though? We've never heard about Lillian's father. No? Well, he's not here, anyway. Hmm... Any other questions? What do you think of Jeeves? I've noticed him making eyes at Fifi. I wonder if Uncle Henry knows about this. You never know. Well, what do you know about Henry? He is your uncle. I don't know what's wrong with him. I went in to say hello, and he told me to leave him alone. He didn't used to treat me like that. Interesting. Well, he was—he kind of did the same thing to us, so... Beauregard doesn't seem to have much energy anymore. All he does is lie around. Why, wow, he's almost 15 years old, Miss Lillian. What do you expect? Well, yeah. My dog is nowhere near that age, and she's still full of pep, but... Then again, she's always full of pep. So... Okay, interesting. Can we, um... I want to head to the billiards room right now, actually, because we still haven't used the secret passage in there. So, um, let's go check it out. It is currently 8.30, I believe, in uh, in game time. Wilbur, I think, is still in the library reading his uh, horse magazine. So, uh, we won't bother going in there. I think Ethel is still drunk in the, um... in the parlor, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh... Yeah, what's going on in here? It is now 8.45. Interesting. We're almost done Act 2 already, holy crow. Everything alright, Gloria? I suppose, darling. Let's just get on with the game. 
Oh, they're playing billiards. Nice. It looks like they're playing... What is this called? Is it called Three Cushion Billiards? I know there's a name for this game, but I'm not sure what it is. Currently, Gloria and Clarence are playing a game of billiards. Can we talk to them while they're playing? Talk to Gloria. Please leave us alone, darling. Please, okay, same message. Um, can we talk to Clarence? Beat it, kid. Okay, I guess he's not nearly as, uh, as uh, hosp not hospitable, but uh, polite, I suppose, is Gloria. Can we sneak past Clarence? Keep playing like this, darling. I'm going to win. Let's play the piano while they're here. Oh, sorry. I think you can get some unique dialogue if you do. You're not close enough. There we go. Let's liven up the game. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Hey, this is the entertainer. Da -da -da -da. I actually recognize that song. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I thought they had some dialogue if you did that. Can we play along? Play billiards. Oh, we got the same message before. Okay. <laughs> It'd be funny if you could mess around with their conversation, but I don't think you really can. Um, actually, speaking of conversations, I doubt we can do this, but can we ask Gloria about things here? Because we haven't really had the chance. Let's go about Rudy. I don't wish to talk about him. Not you. I'm sorry to talk to Gloria. Many women find Rudy irresistible. Both my brother and I have a talent for attracting the opposite sex. Alright, I'm not judging. Um... What about Gertie, your mother, who we found out was dead, but you didn't listen? My mother has nothing to do with you. The Colonel? My uncle just doesn't understand us. He always acts like he doesn't trust us. I think he's living way out here in the bayou has gotten to him. Fifi? Listen, honey, I'm not the one to ask about her. Go find the old geezer. Wow, Clarence really doesn't seem to like the Colonel very much. I wish I could think of a way to get her out of here. Right, fun. fair enough, you guys kind of continue with your game. Actually, you know what? Let's ask Gloria about Wilbur. Hold on. You don't even t don't even talk to the old coot, darling. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, have fun with your game. I'm just going to move on. Darn, missed a game. I'm just going to go off and uh, spy on you. Um, I think, I don't know how much dialogue there is here if you just kind of sit and wait, but whatever. We're at like seven and a half minutes, and I don't want to waste any more time, so let's press on. We're gonna head off to the uh, secret passage, as always. Pull the clock. Time to do some spying again. <clears throat> Alright. See what these two are talking about. Because Gloria said she wanted to um, break up with Clarence, right? Maybe that's what they're doing now. You seem distant, babe. What's the matter? Well, darling, this is very difficult. What's difficult? Gloria is smoking too, actually. That's interesting. You and I, I want to end it. Well, they're both smoking. There's smoke all over the place in there. <laughs> I don't think he's going to take this. Are you joking or something? That's ridiculous. That's not going to... No, darling. I'm not joking. I have a new beau. He's a director. Well, sucks to be dumped, man. Yeah, well, I have to think about this. No offense, Clarence, but I don't think that's how breaking up works. <laughs> See you around, sweetheart. Okay, so Clarence has not taken this to heart at all. He just... Huh. Very interesting. Is, uh... If I look in there again, will Gloria just be sitting there alone? Yeah. It's just Gloria listening to the video. Okay. I still haven't had the opportunity to use that door for the secret passage yet, so... Um... I think what we want to do right now is, uh... One crucial thing I actually forgot to do um, when I played this game the first time, we want to actually head back to the, um, uh, the near the kitchen and the like. Because remember that cellar door we saw not too long ago? I believe we can open that now that it's 8.45. Because like I said before, you can follow Jeeves around, and when he's done all his little errands, he'll go in there and open it up. And oh! 
Oh, I thought I saw them. Oh yeah, I did see the mysterious shadow outside again. Hi, Laura. Having fun? You bet I am, Lillian. I'm having so much fun spying on your entire family, let me tell you. But uh, right now, i got to go talk to Jeeves in his little cellar. We're going to go do that, and I'm going to show you... You can actually get a very interesting item uh, in Jeeves' cellar that you can use every act, actually. Well, I, I won't go into detail till we do it, because I don't want to waste time. But, uh, yeah. Open door. Just do that yourself. Oh, yeah, this part's kind of annoying. You have to say, like, open cellar door, I think. Not close enough. There we go. Yeah, it's very particular with that. Um, here we are, now Jeeves is resting. This must be the butler's room. Actually, it's not too bad, considering it's down in the cellar. Yeah, he's got his own sink. He's got, uh... It appears Jeeves has a sink here, too. He's got a toilet. That's Jeeves's toilet. If you need to use one, go upstairs. Yeah, we, we showed that off earlier. He has a closet? Nothing in it, though. I, I'm guessing Jeeves probably won't want to, um... That's to bother him right now. What's this? A box of crackers is sitting on the nightstand next to Jeeves' bed. Interesting. Can we talk to Jeeves right now? Oh, ta Tal Jeeves, yeah. His voice was a little deeper than Clarence's, I think. I deserve a little peace and quiet in my own room. This is highly irregular, Miss Bo. Exasperated, Jeeves closes his eyes and tries to ignore your constant jabber. Can we ask him about the crackers? Can we take this with us? Kindly leave my room. I think you have to try, try getting them first. Get crackers. You ask Jeeves if you can have the crackers. He nods his head in approval. Excellent, we now have some crackers. I'm gonna save. Um, how, is there, yeah, control I is inventory. We have seven crackers. Now, I've mentioned this before, but there is eight acts to this game. Um, and I'll explain what you can use those crackers for in a second. Can we open the closet? You really are a snoop, Laura. There's nothing here for you. Well, it's a mystery game. I'm trying to snoop everything. Does Jeeves have unique dialogue if you try and use the toilet? I'm quite curious. Use toilet. Oh, pff. I made that same spelling error earlier, I think. Yeah, okay, same message, darn. There's also a kind of a bricked up wall over here. Can we look at the wall? A portion of the back wall looks different than the rest. It appears to have been bricked up, so there was something there before that isn't there now. Interesting. Um, what is... can we look in the cupboard here? Open... cupboard. There's nothing you need? Okay, interesting. Well, I thought I'd check anyway. It's always good to uh, check everything in these games. Anything in these drawers over here? I want to try and ex examine the area closely. There's nothing of interest, okay. It's kind of weird for like a mystery game where you like to investigate everything. There's a lot of things that are kind of irrelevant, <laughs> but uh, whatever. I ain't judging. I'm just gonna go uh, show you what those crackers can be used for. We have like about just under two minutes left. Maybe a friend's hungry. She keeps coming in here. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> We've been through this room many times now, actually. But uh, we've got things to do. It's a shame there's no run command in this game. But uh, then again, I think people who play this mostly aren't worried about uh, finishing episodes in 15 minutes. So Yeah, let's just head over to the parlor, because that's where we can actually do something with these crackers that we've just found. And it is, yeah, it's 9.45, okay. Or no, no, it's 8.45, not 9.45. I'm just, if you're wondering why I look down and such, that's because I'm just checking my notes. I took some notes beforehand to make sure I wouldn't miss anything. Yeah, here we have drunken Ethel looking at the parrot again. You know, Polly, you really understand me, don't you? Come on, Polly, come on. I think we looked at this decanter already, but, oh, jeez. Um, I think we looked at the decanter already, but I want to do it again just to be sure. Not that it's important or anything. Um, and we will... Of course, we just got some crackers. What do you use a cracker for? You give crackers to parrots, of course. Give cracker to parrot. Polly want a cracker after all, right? You give a cracker to the parrot. Ark! Gonna tell him, gonna tell him. Resource scam, Ark! Interesting. We can give crackers to the parrot in every act, and she'll tell us what she's heard around the mansion. But I'm afraid that's all we have uh, time for today, folks. So next time on the Colonel's Bequest, we are going to start Act 3. See you then.